Hey guys, I did a video on this little inverter right here. And I had a lot of people that were like, you know, I didn't give this inverter a chance. I mean, it didn't fire up and go up there. I'll try it. If I can get enough time, I'll put the link to this video that showed this. This is a DATOU. Um, there's a lot of them that are like this. They're just, just paperweight light, paperweight thin but they got flashy stuff on them, right? And even the fan is just a sleeve bearing fan. Don't have a real grill cover or nothing on it. And they're cheap. They're super, super, super cheap. Now this inverter, which is much heavier and prettier, I'll give it that. It has just honking big parts in it. Like I showed in the video. So here it is. It's open. It has a high temp uh, isolation film inside and it's impressive and it doesn't use the case. It uses a real genuine heat sink. This thing, look at this. This is how when I pulled it loose, you see that? It wasn't even behind this to transfer the heat. Some of them were stuck on, but there's not even any grease or anything in here to speak of to heat sink the heat away. And they use the outside of this. So the fan doesn't, when they're, when they're built like this, you see all them screws? The fan can't really cool that like it can through here. Because you see the fans, they're pulling that air draft straight through here. And they pull it from, believe it or not, the hottest area to the coolest area so that that heat's transferred to a cooler area. And then it helps wick it away better. Great design. Three major transformers. And over here, I'm going to flip this thing back over. Four tiny little transformers. Literally, here, I'm going to put my thumb on it. But this 1,000 watt with a 2,200 watt claim. So four or five of you guys who commented that I wasn't being fair, I want, there, look, boom. Okay? Now, look how tall, how big. Now, okay, so this is 500 more watts, right? Well, why, you know, if you're going to do the same math, Let's call this a 4,000 with an 8,000 peak, and we'll call this an 1,000 with a 2,200 watt peak, and then we'll be fair. We'll be all equal then. Or we can say that one told the truth, and this one is a fraud. Look how, look how little it is. That's the board inside. That's literally the board of a 1,000 watt inverter inside. That's scary. This is the board here of a 1,500 watt. So do the math here. Look at the height, too, of these capacitors. And then look at these little things. Look at them. Two single, two single. One, two, three, four, five over here. There's no comparison, man. If this was going, this one here and this one here would be similar, that would be missing. And these would be half that size. All right, now what I've done is I took a little short stop there and I decided to bring in a third player. Okay, so people are going to argue that I didn't say a 1500 and a 1000. Okay, so they can't compete if it's really a thousand, not a 510 or something. So we're going to take that one. Now I want you to look at this 1000 watt with a 2200 watt which it, it, it's, this is a hundred amps. That's 200 amps through a 70 amp, you know, it's just, okay. Now take over here. And this one here is a pure sine wave, 1000 watt with a 2000 watt peak. Now, which one would you believe? Would you believe that this one with these big honking transformers and this very thick, look at that board down there, very thick board. Now it has its MOSFETs back here, 
that these are finals and they can handle that out there but the stepping stages are over here and they need that extra cooling in fact it's designed for that so this one here forget about it now these are 300 amp that's a 300 amp terminal right there so which one do you believe all right do you believe this one here with a 150 amp terminal this one with a 70 that one with a 300 this one with the massive uh, transformers in it and look at the size of those back here of the MOSFETs back here and then look at the size of these they're about 25% smaller so 25% ain't going to equate for that difference when you're thinking that over here they're using one two three four five six over here they're using four that ain't 500 watts of difference okay this is making what it's supposed to this would never have done it i don't care who you think you are it's not going to do it you're not going to put it through this over here is barely 12 gauge wire that's all it is over here you've got eight gauge over here you got eight gauge so you make a decision on what you think that's the chinese equivalent uh, metric i just have to do the math back on this one over here you got 12 gauge wire over here 14 gauge wire so if this is two thousand or a thousand watts and that's a thousand watts why are they using 12 gauge and this using 14. all right and everything in these when it comes to getting ripped off is usually the flashy things you're going to fall for it solar power inverter okay where's the solar uh over here i don't see no damn solar all right, this one over here just says power inverter because that's what it does. This is bait and switch. Okay, it's got a fancy little uh, screen on it. It's got a bunch of little weird symbols and makes you think you really got something, but that's not honest. I want you to look at this one here. Look at look at the meatiness of that heat sink. Same thing. Same thing. Okay, look at look at the Toretto transformers that are in here. Look at this little thing here. And look look how crappy that's wound up in there. Looks like it was hand wound at a beer joint. Don't buy this. I'll put the links below the videos for all of these. You can see what they're all about. They're better. They're real quality. Okay? Now, this one here has no heat sink in it and uses only the case. This one here secures its heat sink to the case. And these over here do not get very hot, so they don't have to have that much. It's this side over here does. Properly thought out. Look how big that fan is. That's 25 millimeter. Okay. This one over here. Oh, uh, what do we got here? This is a 60, a 60 by, I don't know, it's not even, I guess 15. And this one over here is what, an 80 by 25. Over here in this one, two high speed fans. And they duct to the heat sinks as it should all right so when you look at the different designs and you see these things it's got these outrageous ratings and paid for reviews pay attention all right um, let's say another thing let me show you this this kind of inverter comes with this kind of cable this is like this probably weighs just a few ounces let me show you what that cable really is. Here's a, here's a cross section. You see that? It's copper clad aluminum. Here's real. Let me hold them up together. You get that? Let me focus on that. So, this six gauge cable in aluminum is good for about 45 amps that's it a thousand watts is every ounce of a hundred amps why in the hell would they give you a 45 amp cable for it this little bitty inverter came with this these are six gauge but look at the difference in the cable size but this is still six gauge for a 500 watt why because it takes basically 45 45 amps so you got 45 amps is what this thing runs on max 
that's max surge, 40 nominal, and real copper, well, that's good for 80 amps. Do you get it? Now, I'm going to take this cable because I wouldn't use this unless I was extremely angry with someone and I wanted their house to burn down. I wouldn't use this cable. But there you go. That's what they got inside of it. And they're going to send that to you. And you're going to think, oh, wow, I'm now in the alternative energy world. Yeah, you're in the former, most popular form of energy, fire. That's what world you're in. So I just wanted to do an update video so you guys would see what we're talking about is when I talk about fake, it's fake. It may make electricity. It may make, you know, run your, your, your fan. It might even run your small refrigerator. Believe it or not, small refrigerators only run on about 175 watts, maybe 250, 300 surge would be the, the ceiling on it. Hook a hair dryer to that. Hook a 750 watt hair dryer to that. And then when the smoke clears, whew, out the door it goes. This 1000 watt inverter is for real. It's really what you're going to get. And stop buying inverters just barely big enough to carry your load that you're doing. Stop that. Stop saying that I got a 1200 watt microwave, so I want a 1200 watt inverter. Stop it. Damn, I'm tired of getting all those comments from people. My 1200 watt inverter won't run my 1200 watt microwave. Do you know why? Because your 1200 watt microwave takes 1800 watts to run it. It makes 1200 watts of heat. You can't do that. Well, I need one with a 3000 watt surge and a 1000 watt running and well, then go buy that crap and a fire extinguisher. Here, let me show you that. Here, come here. This is the one you're going to need right here. I don't like, I got a lot of viewers. They're damn near 200K. So, you see that? The money you saved on that, buy that. This is for chemical because that's kind of what's going to be the smoke coming up in your house. Do it that way. Don't under gauge your wires. I, I, I'm, I get a lot of emails. My inverter, I got. I bought one of them three thousand watt inverters, man, that you you, you showed, and, and and I hooked it up to my motorcycle battery, and, and it just, I'm sending it back. You ripped me off. Uh, no, dummy. You got a three thousand watt inverter. You need about three hundred and twenty five deep, deep, deep amps to run it. And if you're going to surge it to 4,000, well, you better come up with 450 amps. Your motorcycle battery or your little battery pack or your little blue eddy or whatever, that thing can't run that. My car running with my 62 amp alternator in my dual last battery, it, it, it won't run that inverter. Um, that's the equivalent of five of your car starters. You think it'll do that too? Stop it. All right. I don't mind answering comments back, but when people say dumb crap, like, like my little, <laughs> my little two cycle generator is better than this. I'm like, yeah, cause you put the right fuel in it. So when you buy an inverter, put the right damn fuel in it. All right. That's my rant. I guess I just don't want to hear no more crap about fake stuff. I got that because some clown thought that my channel is real popular and I got what, 13, 14 million views that, oh, oh, people are going to be suckers. My viewers ain't suckers. Some of them are crazy, but they ain't suckers. That's what you want. That kind of stuff, right? You know, or you want some of these big babies over here. You know, you want some of these. Never start with less than that many batteries, anyhow. No, that's not my battery bank. Look at my other videos. All right, so guys, y'all be good. Be safe. Overdo it. Okay? Got a 1400 mi or 1200 watt microwave, get you a 3000 watt inverter. It's worth the extra $75. Hell, if I had it, I'd send it to you. Barely making it myself, so do the right thing. Yeah, they go together. Y'all be good.